So, you're using OBS to record and you want to see your mouse and key inputs live on screen. Not a problem. Go to the link in the description and down at the bottom, assuming you're using Windows, get the 32 or the 64 version. It'll be a zip, right click, extract all, go into plugin, shift select the data and OBS plugin folders, then go to Windows, program files, OBS studio, and replace the data and OBS folders with the ones that you just downloaded. Now let's right click, create a new folder, call it something like overlays. Basically, this just contains all the images for your mouse key and controller overlays that we just downloaded. Then go back under presets and now it really depends on what you're using this for. If you're a gamer and you want to show your viewers the controller, you might want to unzip the gamepad or if you're using mouse and keyboard you probably just need to get the mouse and the WASD. If you want to show the whole keyboard then you're probably going to want QWERTY. Regardless once you've unzipped everything you need you drag it into your new folder and in OBS Studio under sources click the plus and make a new input overlay and we'll just do the mouse first so we'll go in and browse to the mouse overlay file we unzipped grab the images then go back and grab the config. Now you can try the others but the third one is the one that I like to use. Hit OK and now you can drag it wherever you want it to appear on your screen during recording and you will see that as you click things it will react in real time and depending on what else you want you can repeat this process for other stuff for example if you want to show the WASD inputs I would just go hit the plus make a new overlay name it get the image for it and then pick the config file that looks best to you and you're done now for my personal needs as a tutorial guy when it comes to showing what I'm pressing I much prefer the keystroke history method so if you go into sources add input history history, name it, and now at the top left you will see anytime I hit a key or a key combination it's going to show up in my overlay. If you click here you can control what kind of font it uses, the color, the style, and if you scroll down you can even have it include the mouse click history as well, which will tell you when you left click or right click or scroll up and down. Now you can change the size and move it wherever you want, and overlays can really be used for anything in general that you want to appear on your screen when recording. For example, my taskbar is usually a mess and it's very distracting for tutorials so usually I just cover it up with a big black image but yeah you can set things up however works best for you either way hope that helps and as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around